Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Um, this is my second video in the series of video that I'm going to um, post um, every week. And this video is um, in fact to explain an exercise that you have to do at home or a, or a homework that you need to um, do at home. Um, previously, I posted a video on writing a business email. Um, we um, dealt with um, the characteristics and the specificities of a business email in terms of form and content. We said that a business email um, has four components. We talked about um, the heading of the business email in which you insert your email, the recipient's email, um, the carbon copy, carbon copy um, emails and blind carbon copy emails if you have any. And also uh, the subject line, um, which is very important when it comes to business emails. It, I mean, unlike unlike business letters, um, in emails, the subject line is very important. It summarizes the topic of your email and gives an idea um, on what your email is about. So that's very necessary. So now um, you're required to um, write an email, write a business email according to the instructions here, okay? So you are a business manager. Your business has recently had a massive drop in sales due to the lack of communication and coordination within your organization. Write a business email to your staff, to your workers and personnel to request an urgent meeting. The main objective of the meeting is to think of new sale strategies and coordination plans to bolster and to, to boost your business performance. Okay, so you are you are the manager, and um, it's you um, who is calling for this meeting, for this urgent meeting. So write an appropriate business email respecting the form and the content. Okay. In fact, this is an exercise, or this is um, uh, homework that I that I um, assigned last year, and let's pick some of the examples that. Um, students last year students did okay so here's one for example let's see uh let's see let's have a look at the form of course now here we should have the heading right um the heading of the email there should be like um two slots from or to it, it comes first to the recipient email from the sender's email then the subject line okay and the salutation. Okay, here we have the subject line. Subjects have an urgent meeting. Now, what do you think about this subject line here? Um, have an urgent meeting. Okay, I think it should be something like this. Call for urgent meeting. What did we say about the subject line? We said it should be very much abbrevi abbreviated. It should summarize the topic. And it shouldn't, uh, I mean, there shouldn't be, um, um, I mean, we should avoid using um, articles, okay? So as you see here, call for urgent meeting, uh, it's very, very much abbrevi abbreviated and concise, okay? Dear workers, um, yeah, this is acceptable, but why not dear ladies and gentlemen, okay? Ladies and Gentle, gentlemen. And then here you can write. Oh, sorry, you can write. You can you can add um, colon. I am writing regarding my request to have a meeting tomorrow. So this is the opening. What did you say about the opening in the previous video? We said that the opening should mention the topic. Of your email immediately. I mean, you should um, specify the subject of your email immediately um, in the first sentence of your email. So here it is good. I am writing to request. Okay, I'm writing to request. I'm writing to request an urgent meeting, an urgent to request, an urgent meeting tomorrow at 4 p.m. Um, in this meeting, 
Now that that's the first paragraph, okay? Um, now in the second paragraph, what what did we say um, we should do? In the second paragraph, we have to explain the the topic or the subject of the email logically. I mean, we have to expand it and amplify it, okay? In this meeting, I want to talk about our organization where our business has recently had a massive drop in sales due to the lack of communication and of coordination and what we should what we should do to focus on in this meeting debate is to think of new sales strategies and coordination plans to bolster our business performance now here as you see the sentence is very long and we saw during the sessions that you attended at the at, at the university we talked about the importance of being short and simple or the kiss principle keep it short and simple now the sentence here creates some confusion and awkwardness in the paragraph so let's read again and see what we can do to amend it in this meeting i want to talk about our organization where our business has recently our organization where our business has recently had a massive drop in sales now where here it's not appropriate in this meeting i want to talk about our about the situation of about the actual situation of our organization talk about the actual situation of our organization full stop okay and then you move to another sentence All right. Where I'll be, as you know, you can say, for example, here, as you know, as you know, our business has recently had a massive drop in sales due to the lack of communication and coordination. Full stop. Okay. The meeting, thus or therefore, therefore. The meeting is going to be is going to be is going to be about the possible the possible plans and strategies possible plans and strategies to bolster to bolster our performance. I'm oh, sorry, performance with E. Okay, our performance and enhance our competitiveness, our competitive, our competitiveness. Competitiveness is the ability to compete with other rivals and with other companies in the market. And then you can say here, your attendance, your attendance is thus very necessary because you are call, you're calling for a meeting. So everybody's attendance is important. We can say your attendance is thus very necessary. Now, in this paragraph, we explained the idea that we included here in the subject line. We explained it logically and with more details. We amplified it. Let us give it a second read. In this meeting, I want to talk about the actual situation of our organization. Full stop, very short sentence, very clear. As you know, our business has recently had a massive drop in sales due to the lack of communication and coordination. Full stop. Therefore, the meeting is going to be about the possible plans and strategies to bolster our performance and enhance our competitiveness. Full stop. Your attendance is thus very necessary. Okay, so we explained everything in very clear way, short and short and straightforward sentences. Okay, now what did we say about the last paragraph or the concluding paragraph or just um, we, call, we call it also the concluding remarks. 
we said that there are three things that we can do, okay? We can either call for an action, right? Or um, give a concluding thought or specify a certain deadline, okay? So could you please come in the appropriate time tomorrow to have a conven conversation about this? Uh, could you, so here it's very lenient. In fact, I mean, this is an urgent call for the meeting. Um, and here, could you please come? Um, I think it's not appropriate. So we said um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the second paragraph, we said that it is your attendance is very necessary. So here you can say just looking forward. I am looking forward, concluding thought, okay? I am, where is it? I am looking forward to meeting you all, okay? You are kindly insisting on their attendance all, okay? All right, yours sincerely, business manager. And here, this is the signature uh, block. This part is for the signature block, and we said that you need to give um, enough information. So here we have just business manager, no name, um, no telephone number, no email, nothing. So you'd better include more information. Okay, business manager, what is the name? What is the name of the business manager? So you write it here. You can write also um, um, the address, okay, of his office or her office. I mean, um, in, in, in the signature block, please, contain or include um, enough information about about you, right? That's it, so this is one example. Of course, um, it needs to be improved, that, but um, that's, that's possible only um, with a lot of practice, okay? Um, now let's have a look at another one. Look at this one here. Um, all right, so here we have the heading of the email from manager. Gmail, but this is just an example, it's not necessary, to, in fact, I think to comes first and then from um, comes afterwards. The subject line, urgent meeting. All right, okay, urgent meeting, it's acceptable, but I prefer to have a, 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 a verb phrase, okay? Like calling for urgent meeting or call for urgent meeting, okay? Dear ladies and gentlemen, comma, you can use comma or colon. I hope this email finds you well. I think um, this is for the sake of courtesy and politeness, but but um, in such an urgent situation, in such a critical situation, you just don't have to use this, okay? You immediately say what you're writing about, okay? I am writing this email to make a meeting, to make a meeting as soon as possible. I'm writing this email calling for a meeting as soon as possible in my office so that we can discuss the dramatic reduction in our sales. So it is made clear here um, why the manager is calling for the meeting, okay? Now here he's going to explain um, in more details. As you know, our organization has recently has recently had a massive drop in sales due to the lack of communication and coordination between between us. Therefore, we are going to see what things or suggestions that should be done, that should be followed to find a new sale, to find new sales strategies and coordination plans to bolster our business performance. Let us meet on Wednesday morning, March the 6th, 2019 at 10.30 a.m. Please take that into consideration. Yes, okay. Thank you for your understanding, and I look. I am looking forward to meeting you. Best regards, Manager Tom Anderson. Okay. All right. So these are examples. Okay, they are. Um, I mean, especially this one. It's um, good on the whole. The blocked style um, is uh, minutely um, followed. Look at the look at the spacing between the salutation and between the paragraphs okay all all the parts of the email are aligned on the left side 
except that here the subject line I think that there should be some space in there should be a double space between the subject line and two and all all right so that's it I hope that you will send me emails like this so that I can correct them again and um, improve our um, business style together okay looking forward to your um, emails okay thank you and take good care